In this video, with the help of a Collab Notebook from Unsloth, we will fine-tune Gemma 3 on a medical dataset. So, Unsloth has released this blog where they talk about how to fine-tune Gemma 3 for free using their Collab Notebook. Uh, Gemma 3 is the new state-of-art multi-model model from Google DeepMind. It comes in uh, four sizes, 1 billion parameter, 4 billion parameter, 12 billion parameter and 27 billion parameter. 1 billion is purely text, rest of the models are multi-model. So Unsloth is a Python library which can accelerate fine-tuning of LLMs. So they have various techniques by which they make fine-tuning or training of LLMs much more faster. So here they say that Unsloth makes Gemma 3 12 billion parameter fine-tuning 1.6x faster, uses 60% less VRAM and enables 6x longer than environments with flash retention 2 on 48 GB GPU. They have uploaded all versions of Gemma 3 including quantized versions, 2 to 8 bit quantized GGUF versions, dynamic 4 bit and 16 bit versions on Hugging Face. Okay. They have also fixed some issues related to training with your uh, quantized models. So let us go into this particular notebook and see how we can train a Gemma 3 4 billion parameter on a medical data set. So in the original uh, Collab notebook from Unsloth, they had trained it on this particular fine tome 100k dataset. Okay, but what we will do is that we will train Gemma 3 on, uh, we will fine tune Gemma 3 on this Chat Doctor Healthcare Magic 100k dataset, which has medical conversation. So it has conversations like this. I woke up the morning uh, this morning feeling the whole room is spinning when I was sitting down. Um, so here is this conversation where, um, you know, uh, it, there is a reply saying that, you know, uh, the issue is something like a uh, vertigo or, you know, uh, the issue could be uh, benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. So this is an answer provided over here by the chat doctor. Okay. Uh, so we'll be using this particular medical data set. Now let's go to the notebook over here. So this is full and full the original notebook from Unsloth. Okay. I've just done minor changes to adapt it to this particular medical data set. Otherwise, it is the exact notebook from Unsloth over here. So what is done over here is that first you need to install various libraries. Okay. So that is done for Unsloth. Then you need to load the uh, Gemma model for your fine tuning. So here we'll be using Gemma 3, 4 billion parameter instruction tuned fine tuned model and what we'll be doing over here is that we'll be uh, using the uh, four bit quantized version okay of this four billion parameter model so that is what is done over here so if you see over here when they are doing this fast model uh, loading the model they are loading this four bit parameter model okay uh, so this takes around 4 gb of gpu memory okay this 11.5 gb is utilized after for fully training so i'll come to it but this model uses 4 gb of memory okay so this particular model is first initialized and uh, it is loaded into a GPU. That is what is done over here. Then what they do is that they add LoRa adapters for fine tuning of this particular model. So LoRa is a parameter efficient technique for fine tuning of large language models, which makes use of less memory. For further details, I uh, will refer you to this particular link from Hugging Face where they explain about what is LoRa. So LoRa makes fine tuning more efficient by drastically reducing the number of trainable parameters. The original pre-trained weights are kept frozen and now you are adding something called as a LoRa layer. Okay, so that is what is done over here. And you don't fine tune vision layers, you are only doing the LoRa, uh, what you call language layers over here. Okay, then we need to prepare data for our uh, task over here. So to prepare data, what is done over here is that, uh, you know, for Gemma 3, the data should be present in this form. You have this BOS tag, then you have start of turn, user, uh, basically the user input, end of turn, then start of turn, this is the model, the model's response basically over here, end of turn. So this is how the data should look like for training, okay? So for this, you import the chat template, okay? So that is what is done over here for Gemma 3 chat template uh, the tokenizer basically um, you get the chat template for the tokenizer over here that's how you get the tokenizer then uh, you load this original data set okay this is exactly the code from unsloth here i am loading my healthcare magic data set okay the healthcare or medical data set right now if you look at our medical data set it looks like this there is an instruction there is an input and an output so input is what the user has output is what is the chat output given by a chat doctor over here okay so over here if you see uh, if you see at the original uh, data set of uh, on this Maxim Laban Fine Tome 100k data set, if you look at it, it looks like this. It has a conversation dictionary and then in the conversation dictionary you have from human and this is the user input actually from human basically. And then this is the output from GPT okay, or the mod. So this is how it looks like. So for this notebook to work fine, we need to convert our input data which looks like this into this similar format, a dictionary of conversation. So that is what I've written some simple function over here to convert every record in our input data set to this conversations dictionary 
okay where what i'm doing is i'm taking the input and putting it as content user content and i'm taking the output and putting it as assistant from the model okay um, for training basically right so once i do it my input now looks like this conversations content so this is the user content which is you know for user which is a question and this is the answer okay so this is uh, in this case the input is this and output is this so this input is mapped to user over here and output is mapped to assistant so now we have our training data kind of ready okay then we need to standardize our training data to get converted into the format for gemma training so basically we have to get converted into this format so that is what is this standardized method does over here right uh, uh, over here you have this uh, standardized data formats it does that okay now uh, our uh, this thing will look in a different way basically once we do this standardization okay uh, so here that standardization is done so once standardization is done okay uh, basically apply chat template right what happens is that it looks like this over here you are adding this bos uh, tag start of user the question comes in over here user question and answer comes over here start of turn model and here is the answer which is coming from uh, basically the answer for this particular question so basically this apply chat template will do this standardized method is just for standardizing the format okay for the correct format for fine tuning purposes it's an inbuilt method from unslog so that is what is happening over here this is how the data looks like uh, so this is how the data looks like after we do applying chat template now we have our data ready for training so for unsloth we'll use this hugging face um, basically we'll use this sft trainer uh, to do our uh, training uh, so here we are doing it for 30 uh, steps only okay for this demo purpose even in their original notebook it's like that so we start our training process by you know using sftt trainer from hugging face more details are present in the link you can go to this link and check it out okay so that training is what is being done over here then the model actually starts uh, training basically over this is the trainer which is trainer class which is created over here training is not yet started okay and what they are saying is that they'll use unslots train on completion method to train on the assistant outputs and ignore the loss on the user input uh, so that is what is done over here okay so now what happens over here is that the instruction part is masked and uh, you know only the uh, user uh, uh, response is taken over here for training okay so original input looks like this you have start of turn user and here you have the model okay well, by this masking process what happens is that uh, in this train only on responses what happens is that if you see over here that user question is kind of removed over here so it doesn't train on loss on user question but it trains on uh, loss on the uh, response because this helps increase the accuracy of fine tunes that is what they are saying over here okay uh, only to train on the assistant outputs and ignore the loss on the user input train on completions that is what they are using over here okay so once they do this uh, they kind of actually your uh, training happens right uh, this is the current memory state uh, this thing where you have actually 4.283 gb of gpu ram is present and then you start training the model so what happens is that you have uh, trained for 30 epoch so uh, 30 steps over here right and it shows for uh, i think not even epoch so 30 steps basically uh, so you are actually trained over here if you see the loss keeps going down again a uh, little bit up okay so after at the end of 30 steps uh, it shows for how much was the peak memory for training it was 11 gb was used uh, what was the peak reserve or memory for training 7 uh, gb uh, this is the percentage of max memory which has been used percentage of peak uh, peak reserve memory for training so these are all statistics regarding how much gpu was used for training now you can do inference on your trained model so which is what i am doing over here and what they are saying is that gemma 3 recommends temperature is equal to 1 top is equal to 0.95 and top k is equal to 60 for these parameters now what you do is you have your messages you apply again the get chat template from gemma 3 so here i have i'm asking question like i had a glass of milk within 20 minutes i got stomach pain followed by sudden diarrhea what is wrong with me okay um, so this is the medical question which i'm asking and the output is getting generated over here if you see the output is that uh, you know uh, from the model it's coming over here this is a concerning situation it is important to take it seriously experiencing stomach pain and sudden diarrhea after drinking milk suggests lactose intolerance however other possibility needs to be considered this answer is quite right okay so we can even change this question like you know i had a glass of milk within 20 minutes okay i, I instead of i'll put it like uh, this i'll put uh, you know i had an ice cream ice cream and uh, immediately i felt giddy okay what is wrong with me probably uh, you know there was a sudden sugar surge or something like that let's see what is the response it gives okay so currently it is doing inference on this particular thing so what you can do is that you can also get uh, streaming inference okay so it says over here uh, 
let's break down what might be happening it is surprisingly common phenomenal there are multiple ranging from perfectly normal to feeling a little here's a breakdown of possibilities so basically i have to increase the number of uh, you know max new tokens for a better response so maybe i'll make it as 256 let's see what happens all right so you can also get a uh, inference generation token by token kind of streaming response basically a text streamer uh, let's see what is the response over here and then let's go to the next one okay where i actually asked a question on what is hypertension and it gave me a uh, response over here like it is a condition to understand related to blood pressure and it says what is blood pressure etc uh, this is still running we are waiting for the inference over here so till uh, it uh, the inference happens we can go back and say uh, see like how we can actually save this model locally so you can save the model locally uh, you can also load the lora adapters for inference okay so that is what is over here right so i asked a couple of other questions like what is insulin resistance it gave me an explanation it is an important concept uh, the basics of insulin and glucose and then it starts the thing is the max new tokens is just 64 if you increase it to 256 you will see a better longer response so you can do other things like pushing the model to a uh, hugging face right where you can put your user and your token access token what i observed is that uh, if i try this over here in this particular notebook it kind of runs out of memory because uh, it already kind of uses uh, you know close to uh, 5 gb memory over here for some reason uh, it kind of crashed maybe i should try it again but otherwise it should be possible for you to actually uh, you know upload this model to hugging face repository for further use okay now let's go back to and see our response over here see over here you have the longer response now the most likely sugar rush and dopamine i was expecting this sugar rush a rapid influx of sugar into your bloodstream can cause a temporary spike in energy and can make you feel giddy right uh, it's a short lived does thing there could be also a blood sugar dip which is a rebound if you are already slightly low on blood sugar before eating the sugar rate uh, rush must be particularly noticeable after initial spike so this was my expected answer and it is coming out over here okay now just for seeing that streaming response uh, we can run this see here you can see the streaming response right let's break down hypertension also known as hyper this is like your token by token streaming kind of response okay yeah so this was a notebook on how you can fine tune uh, gemma 3 on your data set okay so this is fully from unsloth the only change i've done over here is i've uh, you know customized i've converted a data set which looks like this into a different format to make it compatible for training on you know uh, for training gemma 3 basically so that is the only change which i've done to the original notebook uh, i hope this video is useful you can also select your own data sets on a collab node um, instance you of on a, where you have this t4 gpu right you can try out fine tuning a gemma 3 uh, 4 billion parameter model using this particular notebook you can also refer to their original notebook as well uh, you can directly make use of it by uh, changing the data sets to similar compatible data sets as the original data set which was used in that particular notebook okay what i've done is a minor change of taking a data set and making it uh, you know converting the format so that it can work with this notebook I hope this video is useful. See you in another video. I will share all the relevant links, including this collab, in the description of the video. Do check it out.